So we're going to create the arc or the curved wall. I'm going to use this tool right here, arc, two-point arc, or A is the shortcut. Okay. I'm going to click here, click at the opposite, opposite end point, and then create the arc. Okay. Now I'm going to select that arc, and once you select that arc, go to the entity info. You should see a default tray here. If you don't, go to uh, window default tray. Make sure it's on. Okay, entity info is checked. Notice that the number of segments is 12. That's why if you zoom in, you have this jagged type of arc because it only have 12 segments. So you want to increase the number of segments here to maybe uh, 36. Okay, I think 36 looks good enough. Okay, so 36 segments to make the arc. I'm going to make another arc just to demonstrate. So click, endpoint, okay, and then create the arc, space bar, select the arc, and type there 36. When you make the arc, you can actually uh, have 36 arcs already there or segments. So you can type that 36 first, but it actually, even if you do that, it actually uh, create a 12 segment arc. So let me do another arc here. So arc one, two, three, okay, space bar, select, and then change the number of segments. Okay, now after you have done that, let me delete that, I can now create a line to enclose my arc. So one line, okay, another line here. See, anytime you have an enclosed area, it creates a surface. And then I can do a push-pull, push-pull this up to this level. Now, I know this is 6,000 high, so I can type 6,000, or I can simply hover over the height of this wall, and it will snap to that height. Okay? So that's one way of doing it. And then I can now triple-click on this, right-click, and say make group. 